And so, hello there, and welcome to the final day of this vlog. It is currently Friday morning, and it's about 7 o'clock, so I'm a bit tired, because for some reason, I woke up at half 6. Don't know why that happened, but I'm currently not recording this um, this section outside, because it's very windy. I'm probably going to go out there in a sec, but I'm just saying... I don't know how the sound's gonna go when I do get out there. But right now, I am still inside the living room, and I'm hoping that today is gonna be a good day. I really am hoping it is. That's, that's gonna be the final payoff of this vlog. You know what I mean? Because it's the final day of this vlog. Although I don't know how long this final is gonna be. Knowing me, it could be 20 minutes long, but it also could be uh, it could be five minutes long. We'll just have to wait and see. And uh, I am speaking quite quietly simply because my, the rest of my family is still in bed. So let's see what today has in store, shall we? Also, before I go outside, I just want to point out this. This photo makes no sense. Here, we have somebody climbing up a mountain, okay, and it's in the snow. Pretty cool. And there, oh, I can't speak. Here, on the top of the picture, the people are up there though, and the mountain is there. Now, both pictures individually look quite good, but it makes no sense. How did that guy get from there to there? It is like somebody gave the housekeeper or whoever owns this holiday home, um, you know, it is like he gave this picture as a Christmas present and the person who owns the place didn't know what to do with it. So they just hung it above the fireplace. Which, you know, is obviously a great idea. But if you're looking at this photo and you can explain it, then uh, well done. Because I can't. The two images don't even line up. Look here, the mountain stops. But then there's like a centimeter where the mountain doesn't stop. And yet this image is meant to line up. I'm guessing, I don't know. Anyway, I haven't said yet what we watched this week because I did talk about all the DVDs that we brought with us. So, n in no order, we watched the original Superman movie that's by Richard Donner with Christopher Reeves as Superman. It was good. I wouldn't say it was great though. Also, we watched Hotel Rwanda, which was very good. Then we also watched Cyrano, which was okay. It mainly works for Peter Dinklage. The rest of the film, I could, I could yeah, I could kind of live without. And was another one we watched down here? Oh, right. They rewatched Dungeons and Dragons. I rewatched the first half, but I was too tired, so I didn't stay through. Um, yeah, this one I just don't think was for me. And it's a shame because I was really looking forward to it, but yeah, you win some, you lose some of these movies. But we didn't watch a lot of these films because we started Mad Men. And the thing is, we're, well, as I'm recording this right now, I'm about five episodes into Mad Men. I just don't get it at the moment. And uh, I really think as I'm talking about Mad Men when Wallace and Gromit is in the shot. No, I'm about five episodes into Mad Men, and I just don't get it. I, I, like,. Is there something I'm meant to think that's really smart about it? I don't like the character Don Draper. I don't really like any characters in the show. And yet, I'm meant to think this is as near to genius as TV gets. Really? Anyway, those are the things we watched this week. Um, and I also watched Far uh, Fargo Argo, the Ben Affleck film. Oh, you can see my reflection on the TV. I also watched the Ben Affleck film Argo, but that was on streaming. And then we rewatched a lot of 30 Rock 2. And a bit of community, which we always do on holiday. We like to rewatch some sitcoms. Anyway, I've been blabbering too much in the living room. Let's get outside, shall we? There. <laughs> Let's get out there. So, here's a key and one final time this holiday. Let's open these doors. It won't be the final time, but it'll be one of the final times. And here we're outside. Just look at that, look at the colours this morning. Again, bear in mind, it's only 
I'm gonna guess about 20 past seven right now. And, oh God, it's very breezy and in a very nice way. It's also very colorful this morning. Like in the distance, you can see clouds. It's also blue sky. Oh God, I'm loving this weather. <laughs> Absolutely love it. And as I said yesterday, a wind a day keeps the midges away. And it really does. Oh yes. Love this weather. Absolutely adore it. Hopefully you can hear me by the way, because it is very windy and I'm getting I'm getting blocked by the light. So I block the light and then I'm gonna get blocked by it. Ah, but then I block myself. <laughs> anyway, that's what the weather looks like at about 20 past seven this morning. So I've just come back in from outside and I'm in the kitchen again and it's quarter past seven. That's the time. I thought it was twenty past but it's actually quarter past. And it's not, you know, it's not a spectacular kitchen, but it's pretty nice. And I quite like it. And up here, you got the tide clock again. Apparently, it's almost tide, high tide. So, yesterday, as a holiday present, I was given this. A Lego Buzz Lightyear Brickhead. And if you don't know what the Brickheads are, they're essentially Lego from Copa. That's what they essentially are. Although I have collected Lego Brickheads in the past. I've got Lego Star Wars Brickheads. I think I got Brickheads of Jack Sparrow. I got Lego Jurassic World Brickheads. I think I got Lego Back to the Future Brickheads. The point is I've collected Brickheads in the past, but this is my first time getting a Toy Story Brickhead, which um, with Brickheads. It's my first time getting a Toy Story Brickhead. So yeah, and it looks, it looks quite cool. It looks quite cool. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse of me building this. So let's get into my time lapse of me building the Lego Buzz Lightyear Brickheads. have it I've built the Lego Brickheads Buzz Lightyear and if I turn around you can see the back of him there and if I turn around again you can see the front of him again hey hey I don't know why but when I'm doing these bits of the vlog like when I'm looking at Lego straight on I feel like I'm doing a Lego review although that's not what I do on this channel but I sort of am at the same time when I'm doing this in a way Anyway, there is a Lego Buzz Lightyear Brickhead. Ooh, yeah. I've got him in my hand and I've got to do this because, you know, Toy Story and it is a phrase in Toy Story, so let's do it. To infinity and beyond. Ah, oh, he broke up into pieces. Ah, that's always good. So, I've just come outside and I wanted to show off the colours. So here it's all blue sky, yeah, 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 sun. Then we go around now and it's rain clouds over there, towering over the sea. Well, maybe not towering over, but they look like it's taking over the sea, you know what I mean? And then all the way over here though, oh, it's all nice and blue skies. Back over here, rain's incoming. Over here, oh, it's going to be a sunny day. Rain. It really is something though. I've got to miss waking up to this, you know. I've got some packing to do since this last day, so let's begin another time lapse, shall we? Oh yes, loving this sun. I mean, not the sun. Loving this wind. That's what they say. Loving this. As you can see, most of my toys are packed away now. Well, there's a pal here to take photos with because I'm gonna do some of my last toy photos of the holiday this morning. So, let's go and do it. 
So it's the Battle of Endor. We have the Ewoks, and they're running from the uh, mini Lego ATST over there. And I'm going to make it look bigger than it actually is. Look, look how big the ATST is. Anyway, it's very windy, so it's a testament to the fact that the ATST, the mini Lego ATST, is still staying up. But it's the Battle of Endor. That's what I'm trying to recreate. Starfighter. Not including in the main Star Wars movies, but including the quote. So, I'm trying to take a photo of the Fellowship, but because it's so windy right now, I genuinely don't think I can. Look. Oh, he's staying up at the moment. They're all staying up. I think I just knocked one over accidentally. Oh, no, wait. Gandalf blew over by himself. Uh, there's Bormir. There's Frodo. They're all there. There's the Fellowship. They're all just a bit drunk. There you go. <laughs> I tried my best with that one. So, to take my final lot of photos, I'm going round the back. So, as you can see, the back is over there. The noise you can hear from there is uh, my brother's watching 30 Rock. But if we go through the back, we get to this door. Is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. So, give me a sec. Just open it with the uh, key, and we are open. There we have it, the back of the house. I think I did show you this, but I'm not sure if I showed you me going through the house to get to the back. How exciting. Anyway, I've got my hat full of figures and whatnot here, so time to take my last couple of photos around the back slash around the house as a whole. Here we have all the different versions of Doc Hawk which I've got again combining three things which are the same but different at the same time so we have the knockoff Lego version of Doc Ock, the proper Lego version of Doc Ock. then we have the Funko Pop version of Doc Ock. Dr Octopus played by the brilliant Alfred Molina in Spider-Man 2 and he reprises ball in Spider-Man No Way Home Anyway, there we have it, the image. We have the Funko Pop, Knock Off Lego, and Lego. But is this going to be my Funko Pop photo of the day? Hmm, we'll have to wait and see. So, here we have all the wood for the fire if we need it. Oh, but look who we have. Two versions of Groot. The Groot, the Lego Groot, should I say, from Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and the Lego Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Oh yes, and they are on wood. And if you know what glue is made of, it works perfectly. We have three Ugnaughts. I think that's what they're called, Ugnaughts. You get them in the Star Wars franchise there. The, the ones I've got here are from Empire Strikes Back, but you also get them in the Mandalorian. And they're hiding from the wind. When I was growing up, I used to call these ones pigmen. So, there you go. Let's call them that now. Because <laughs> they're essentially walking pigs, in a way. I'm not trying to sound offensive, but that's just what they look like. <laughs> but they're Ugnaughts. I think that's what they're called. And you get one of them in Mandalorian, but that one's not here right now. But again, it's combining three things which are the same, but slightly different. Although those two figures are the same make, you also get a Lego Ugnaught. Haha. <laughs> Explaining my photos. I wonder how interested it actually is. <laughs> anyway, there's another photo. It's another round of which one is real and which one is fake. And how long can these two stay up for? So which one is real and which one is fake? Everyone, you decide. That one is fake and that one is real. That one's real Lego, came out on a set this year, and that one is fake. Spent two quid on it. But it perfectly blends into the colour of the house. Look. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't realise I didn't plan that either. And they're both blowing about because, well, it's very windy as we can see. Hopefully, you can hear me well, by the way. I don't know because there was wind in space. Oh, one fell down. Let's see how long it takes for the other one to fall down. Is he gonna, is he gonna go? Is a knockoff Lego minifigure gonna go? In fact, I'm gonna make him go. He's knockoff. Deserves that. That's the proper Lego minifigure. So 
over here we have the chicken man and the chicken boy. So, I'm going to play a bit of a game here. How long can I keep these minions up on this wooden pole? So, one's already fallen off. <laughs> so, let's see if I can get them both on together. So, lifting down to get the other one. Oh, he's fallen off that one. God knows where he's gone. <laughs> There's the minion. Oh no, put it back up again. Where's the other one again? God! No, I've lost one of the minions. No! The one's fallen down here. I genuinely have lost one of the other minions. Let's see if I can find him. If not, oh well. It was already a Lego minion. <laughs> Is he down here somewhere? There's a peg. For some reason, there's some pegs here. And there's a towel just blowing almost in my face as I'm trying to do this. No, I think I may have lost the Lego Minion. Oh well. It was my own doing. Oh wait, is he here? I found him, I got him. Yes, I found him. He's just through here. Not gonna lie, I didn't actually make any of that up. I genuinely thought I'd lost the Lego Minion. I, I honestly thought I had. Oh, I've lost the antenna for the bigger Minion, but oh well. Am I gonna get them both on? I think I've got them both on, yes. Let's see how long they stay up. Oh, well, one fell. <laughs> and let's see how long it takes for the other one to fall. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's doing quite well. Look how much the tower's blowing. He hasn't fallen off yet. Well, this might be it, this might be it. Wind's picking up, oh, and he's gone. Oh, all in all, not too bad. I lost an antenna for that guy, but I didn't lose any of the minifigures. Like I, gen like I honestly thought I had at one point. So, uh, yeah. A successful experiment, if you will. So, we're going on one last walk all the way over there somewhere. I think it's just hidden by the tree. And I've got my RTD2 hat on for the final walk. So, let's get over there, shall we? And this walk isn't going to be as long as some of the other walks on this holiday. It's going to be shorter. I hope, anyway. Famous last words. Let's get to the walk. I'm going along the cattle grid. Probably shouldn't be recording at the same time, but I am anyway. Key, I'm a bit worried I'm going to drop my phone. Oh no, and we're over and we are fine. Up the hill we go. So, currently walking up the path, and my mum said it's a good shot of the house. So, there you go. So here we are at the top of the hill, R2 and 3PO, but not the same R2 and 3PO I pictured over there, the top of that hill, this time Lego R2 and 3PO. So we're going to adjust the shot a little bit, get it over there, just going to get colours, get that away, no don't, don't blow, don't blow away C3PO, yes, here we go. 3PO and R2 made it to the top of the hill. And up here at the top of the hill. We also have the scariest dinosaur of them all, the T-Rex. Now that, even if I say so myself, is not a bad shot.
Here we have it, our Funko Pop photo of the day. Star Lord with his bobbing head. There we go. Got that little bit of grass out of the way, and here we have our Funko Pop photo of the day. On top of the hill! Now, let's get back down there. So, up there is where it just was, and now I'm back down the road leading up to the house. <sighs> back down the road now, but I thought about having another photo opportunity. And here we have the Green Goblin from the original Sam Raimi Spider Man film Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. And you know, I was making fun of Knockoff Lego before. Or attempting to anyway. And actually, give credit where credit's due. This is a pretty good knockoff Lego minifigure. The detail, the sort of hoverboard they has. It is a pretty damn good knockoff Lego minifigure, if you ask me. And by the way, before you ask, yes, that is sheep poo. I'm taking a photo of knockoff Lego near sheep poo. <laughs> Fits right in. <laughs> well, it does on this one, but it does on some knockoff Lego minifigures. Oh, and he's blown over. No. Getting back up. Ah, that'll do. Ah, and he's falling over again. Walking back up to the house and just look at all this sheep muck on the road. All this sheep, uh, pardon my French, shit. <sighs> I mean, if you don't believe it's sheep shit, by the way, look at uh, look at one of the bits I put in earlier in this vlog where I saw sheep on the road. Trust me, this is definitely sheep, and it's all over the road, leading up to the house. And by the way, that is the old farm that you can see just down from the house. It's pretty worn out, it looks. Yeah, you know, I don't think anyone lives in it anymore, but there used to be someone living in it a while back, but yeah, that's the old farmhouse that seemed to be abandoned, which you can see from the holiday home that we are staying at. And there's a tractor here, and because no one really lives there, I'm tempted to get a photo by the tractor. I'm very tempted. You know what, let's just do it. So here we have Silver R2-D2 on this tractor. And I've just set in Sheemuck. <laughs> God, it's everywhere here. It quite literally is everywhere on this world. Anyway, there's Silver R2-D2 on the tractor. Better take him off just in case someone comes in a sec, but yeah. Fits in quite nicely, I think. We're well, almost back at the house now, almost there. I haven't really explored this area of the property in this vlog. But that's because there's not really anything here. So as far as I remember, you can't actually get in here. And it just looks like there's tools and nothing particularly that interesting or vlog worthy if you will yeah nothing too great although apparently there's canoes in there and you can't see them actually so you wanted to come here and go canoeing unless you had a key to open this door you would fail yeah not really anything special it's just like this stone shed that doesn't really make any sense and i've never been in here and I've been coming to this place for over 10 years now, it feels like. And I've never, ever got on this door. And you know what? I probably never will. Almost back at the house and I saw opportunity to create, to kind of, almost recreate one of my favourite scenes from Indiana Jones and Last Crusade. Indiana's father on the motorbike. And there you have it, the house in the background, and as I'm taking this photo, I am laying down on the road leading up to the house. This is not comfortable whatsoever. <laughs> you probably get ads rolling about here all the time, so I'm gonna quickly take the photo, then quickly get back up. 
anyway, there is the photo. And it's not a bad one, if you'd ask me. I sound really, really egotistical taking these photos, I bet. <laughs> but, you know, you've got to like something you do. Well, we are back at the house, but we're just not in the house yet. Almost there. So we're going back in, and we have finally arrived back in the kitchen. Here we have one last photo before I pack all these away of all the Lego dinosaurs that I brought with me slash built whilst I was here. So we go from small all the way to the big with the Brachiosaurus at the back. There we have it. All the Lego dinosaurs that I brought with me, slash built, or stouse it. So now, it's finally time to properly pack these all the way. And just before you, I do, just before I pack all these all the way, you may be wondering why I brought so much toys with me, why I brought so many toys with me. And it's because I love pack. And I overfilm, as you might have guessed by this vlog and by the length of the vlog uh, by this point, you know, I overdo everything because if you underdo stuff, then, I don't know, I always get a feeling that I'm missing out. So I overdo everything and sometimes that's to my downfall, but sometimes it's also, yeah, it's also a positive effect. I'm going to pack these away. And see what the rest of the day has in store. So that's what it looked like before I put all my Lego down on the wood and moved that mattress on top of there. But I didn't realise underneath you can actually see that there's stuff in this, I suppose, wood compartment. That's what it is, isn't it? This wood storage. Just like quilt covers look like. Oh, one sec. It's been caught on here. Oh, shave, eh? Anyway, yes. There's a camera that was recording the time lapses on of me doing Lego stuff up here. But really, there's two beds you can use if there's like, I don't know, six, seven, or eight people wanting to stay here. Now, with my Lego box packed, it's all back to normal. Well, almost. My room is still an absolute tip. Nevertheless, Great views from out there. I don't know, just seeing the wind from inside gives you a warm feeling. Just to me anyway. Uh, now I'm gonna do the ultimate test. Which of these cameras does the best time lapse? I think I'm gonna already know the answer because I use the camera the most. This may give some good time lapse as well. And that's this is a camera I've been using for my time lapse for the majority of this holiday. Uh, when I've been doing time lapses out here in the wilderness, and that's a camera I also used to use to record a lot of my views from last year and before last year and whatnot. But let's see which camera gives the better outside time lapse. Let's begin the competition, if you want to call it that. Time lapse test number one. I'm currently using my more expensive Sony camera. Let's see if it works. Adjusting the tripod there. Let's see if this gives a better time lapse than my other camera. And now I'm on to camera number two. was out there doing a time lapse and we're about to watch this 
so we're playing Star Wars Monopoly. One of the best openings in cinema history. This is by far and away one of the best openings of cinema history, isn't it? <laughs> we just finished watching Wallace and Woman Curse the Were Rabbit. If you ask me, that is a perfect movie. And we haven't finished playing Stars Monopoly yet, but I'm holding my underwater camera in my hand and I've got a towel there because we're off to the beach. And maybe I'll go for a swim, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But the important fact here is that we're off to the beach. Oh yes. So just before we get down to the beach, we start to go on a walk. And it's pretty much in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and you can see quite close to a cliff here. And in the distance, there's a light blue in the sea. And we think that's a military ship, which is quite something. Never seen one of the mountains, so there you go. Anyway, let's continue this walk in the middle of nowhere. So, approaching a beach, and this one's a mill. I've been to this one in the past, but like the one yesterday I hadn't been to in the past. And the one a couple of days ago I had been to before. And I have been to this one in the past a couple of years back. I don't remember it being anything special, but you know, looks quite nice. And I am walking on to the beach. Not gonna lie, it looks better here than it did up there. <laughs> don't know how that worked. But it's not as I remember it. And again, last time we came here, we only stayed for like five minutes. So, not too bad. Look at all that sand blowing. The sand is moving along the beach. So you can see where it's coming. Not gonna lie, I don't know how enjoyable this part of this vlog is because. I am very worn out. I don't even tell my voice. I'm doing this vlog, I'm going on these walks and whatnot has really, really worn me out. So I don't know how this section of the vlog's going, but uh, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I'm pretty worn out. Anyway, let's get over to the sea. There you have it, the sea coming on Melvich Beach. Not too shabby. And, to be fair, to this beach, it's pretty long, there's not many people on it, you know? It's kind of nice, it's nice kind of having this sort of beach to your own. And the sea, as always, looks Right, so I think I'm done recording at Melvich. And now we're gonna cut to Far Beach. Oh yeah! And here we have Far Beach. 
the final beach we're going on to on this holiday block. And the sea is just over there, it's a walking distance. But I've unfortunately made a decision to not go in there because of how cold it is outside the sea. Because if it's cold outside the sea, it's going to be cold inside the sea. And also, I am very, very tired right now and I'm worn out so me going in the sea I have done that in this vlog I think I have yeah I did it yesterday uh, but me going in the sea will be a tease for the next holiday vlog if I do not one if this one's successful if this holiday vlog is successful I will do another holiday vlog uh, at a different holiday place which I'll go into in less than a month but for now the sea me going in the sea again will just have to be a tease you know, I've got plans for going in the sea again on my next holiday vlog my underwater camera to do some really fun stuff. But today, it's just not going to work. So, it's nice to be back on this beach and have it pretty much all to ourselves. I mean, there's some people at the far end, but, you know, for the most part, but it's all to ourselves. Just look at that sand and the sea in the far distance. Just something so peaceful about being on a beach like this, especially in the evening, because it's like five o'clock right now. So, yeah, really peaceful. And put your mind at ease. And by the way, those people you can see walking out to sea are my mom and Elliot. <laughs> anyway. I'm sat all the way over here. I'm sat all the way over here, and I just couldn't resist it. Getting my figures down for one last shot. Getting C3PO and R2D down for one last photo on the beach. Is it meant to be R2D3PO? I can't remember. I haven't seen Star Wars movies in about a year. You know, I probably need to watch them again because I really love those films. If you hadn't guessed already, but yeah. I don't know if I got it right or wrong, but I'm sure I'm sure somebody will correct me. But there you have it. R2 and 3PO on the beach. One last time. I say one last time. I haven't put them on a beach this holiday ever. R2 and 3PO on the beach for the first and only time this holiday. There you have it. By the way, just because of how peaceful it is on this beach right now, I've decided to do a bit of a bit more vlogging. And I'm gonna say this. I've spoken a lot about this new phone on this vlog, and I record on this one. I think the image quality and the video quality and whatnot on this phone is fantastic. But I also don't want to make this vlog seem like a bit of an advert for Samsung, because the last phone I had was Samsung, and I didn't really like that phone too much. It was alright, but, you know, this phone, compared to that phone, it's like the Godfather, you know, the last phone is like Godfather Part 3 and this phone is like the first Godfather movie, it's so much better. And so, yeah, um, I don't want to make this vlog seem like an advert for Galaxy, for Samsung or whatever, because I don't really like Samsung too much, I just really, really like this phone. <laughs> but anyway, I hope it probably hasn't even seemed like an advert for Samsung, but just in case. And that, I don't even know why I'm talking about this on a beach, I should be... Just enjoying the atmosphere on the beach, and that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to round up this vlog in my bedroom, because the plan was to round up the vlog outside to say my goodbyes outside but it's very windy and I think you'll get a lot of sound interference so I'm gonna say it here thank you as always for watching or you know yeah thank you for watching this video I was about to say thank you for listening to this video but you don't do that ever vlog but you do listen to podcasts which I usually do man I'm tired but thank you for watching this vlog and hope you enjoyed let me know your favorite part of the vlog in the comment section below and yeah, and if you haven't yet, please do click down below and like subscribe on this video. And I think that's gonna be up. I think that's gonna be it for me on this vlog. I'm gonna see some of my clothes that I'm planning to wear tomorrow uh, sticking out there a bit. But yes, um, 
That is going to be me. That I can't speak. That is going to be it for me on this vlog. But I've got a couple more things to do to wind down, to wind down this video as a whole. So as already mentioned, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys again soon. Probably on a podcast or maybe on another vlog. I don't know. Don't know when this video is going to come out. So anyway, yes. Yeah, thank you as always for watching, and let's end the vlog, shall we? Let's wind down with whatever is next. So, if you can hear me, this will be one last look outside. The last look around the property. So there it is. And that's the view from the holiday home. And I'm gonna pan around here. There it is again. Let's walk around it one last time. Hope you can hear me. I don't know how bad it's going to be with the wind interference. So, we go around here. That window goes into the living room. Uh, that's the back door. Taking some photos around here. Wood for the fire that we never really needed. Pegs so you can hang your washing if it's raining. Under here. Really nice pile, really cool looking pile of stones. Washing line go around here even more up there that window is the window for my bedroom that window goes to my mom's bedroom and that is a gate leading down to the beach and that is a window into the kitchen there's another window into my mom's bedroom and we come back over to the front of the house in just a sec and there we have it the front of the holiday home that I stayed at and also I haven't pointed out this out but the hill down here as well we have that and this weird stone sort of shed anyway that's the holiday place one last time there you have it and there is a view one last time too